All right, you guys, how's it going? It is May 20th for another six minutes, 2023. 56 degrees, almost empty on gas. It, it just started raining a little bit. We, ha we have a, a thunderstorm in the area. You guys know this is what I do, so sorry for being so annoying with these videos, but I'm obsessed with doing this. So I'm hoping that when we drive out here for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, we might catch, catch some lightning in the sky. That would be great. But I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. And then also, we've got a couple other videos uploading that are taking forever. I did the Castle Rock hike today. It's the most famous and popular hike in Big Bear. Um, it kicked my butt because it's so steep and I'm so out of shape, but I made it. So I think you guys will be proud of me, but I recorded the whole thing. Unfortunately, my wife couldn't go with me. She's, she's here right now. Say hi, Rachel. Hey, guys. <laughs> And uh, then the 12 hour sleep video or just relaxation video that I did at the Grout Creek Tributary, Tributary, that'll be probably uploaded by the beginning of this next week. And I captured another waterfall up at, uh, like on the way up to Castle Rock. And so I, I, I decided to do a small clip there to make another relaxation video for you all. So it's gonna be another waterfall video, but you know what? I just hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, it's actually coming down pretty decently right now. And this is the earliest that I've ever seen the monsoon hit our area since I've lived here. But just keep your eyes peeled straight ahead because that's where the lightning will be coming from. And as my wife pointed out, when she got in the car, it smells really beautiful outside. the sky lights up if not it's okay because once again I like bringing this to you guys and I have I have some cool news for you guys uh, a gentleman who owns some something called Big Bear TV on Roku um, he wants to premiere me and feature me on that channel permanently and he's adorable he said unfortunately Nick I don't have anything I can pay you but I told him all I care about is just bringing this town to the world and and making it so uh, tourists can learn more about this place and and come and visit. So I, I said that I couldn't care less about any money for it as long as uh, it helps your channel and helps Big Bear. So we got that. That's going to be happening soon. He sent me a, an email tonight asking me to send him a little bio of me. So I'm going to think about what I can or what I'm gonna put in my bio for him and uh, yeah hopefully you guys watch it it's gonna it's called Big Bear Television I believe and as I said it's on Roku and Vimeo and stuff like that so I'll be a permanent fixture on there as well gosh forbid for those of you who, are, who just don't want to hear me talking anymore but <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm really hopeful we'll see see our... I saw a lightning bolt yesterday, but when I looked back through the camera, I didn't pan it over enough, and it was in the middle of the day, so you guys didn't even get any collateral light onto the camera, peripheral light, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping we catch something right now, and I'm really low on gas, so I'm not going to be able to do too far of a drive, but... One thing you'll notice about most of these thunderstorms, because I, I try to jump on them right away, is that we'll usually be heading this way, unlike our snowstorms when I'm usually heading the other way, because unlike the winter storms that come into town, that come from the Gulf of Alaska and then come across here, across Southern California, those hit the front side of our mountain range first. Typically 90 plus percent of those storms and, and, and unless we get the last bit of the storm which comes with some wraparound moisture then that'll hit the back side of town but that's very rare um, all of our monsoonal flow will start from this side of town all our thunderstorms will roll in from this side of town I'm figuring this place out pretty 
good. And also, regarding all our storms and weather forecasts and stuff, eventually Ben Brissy and I are going to get together. As I said, um, you guys know him from bensweather.com. He's the owner. He's, he's basically the just the know-it-all um, just the guy's really good at his weather forecasting he's been doing it in this area for many 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 years decades actually and uh, anytime you guys don't watch my channel if, if I'm not posting anything go to bensweather.com b-e-n-s-w-e-a-t-h-e-r.com to look at our forecasts um, and yeah it's that's the most reliable source you'll find um, for national stuff I, I use the weather channel app but uh, I'm, I'm always reverting back to Ben's weather so I, I suggest you guys check him out show him some love because he's very selfless and has helped this town a lot so we are at a street called Greenway. We're gonna make a left-hand turn here and head to North Shore and kind of, we'll be driving away. But it looks like this thunderstorm is situated pretty much over most of the valley. And again, it's just an isolated storm, but it looks fairly large in size. So I'm trying to, trying to drive into part of the storm that's actually heavier and it seems like it was kind of a little bit further back from where we came so we'll be heading back that way here's the airport you can kind of see the clouds reflecting off off those lights speaking of airports I've been watching I don't know why I watch these types of shows but I do um, air disasters um, it's, it's the airport made me think about that and when my wife and I were just just leaving right now on, on like one of the episodes as we're walking out the door they're saying and this plane was it was headed to Big Bear Lake and I was like no way like this was a long time ago though a long 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 time ago um, but yeah I don't know why why those shows interest me because it, it is very uh, morbid, but um, I think what interests me the most is just what the NTSB and other safety agencies do to investigate all of these accidents and can truly come up with a cause um, with hardly anything to you know, go by. And it's just putting pieces of a major puzzle together and I find it remarkable how they can actually do that. Um, find it really interesting how the black boxes work and just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, once again, I know it's kind of morbid to watch those shows, but um, it's the investiga investigatory parts about it that pique my interest. Of course, I never want to see anybody get hurt. And it's always sad, I'm almost, in tears every single episode you know when you see the family members talking about it and especially when you see like on one of these last ones a mom whose husband and three kids were on a plane it's, it's it's just like how does someone ever get through life going through that much pain but anyway driving back into some of this rain um, I'll pan you guys up a little bit I don't know if you guys can see those clouds it's a very light, light shade of darkness, but hopefully we'll hit something coming up here. And not a coyote. Hopefully we'll see some lightning or something. But yeah, guys, please be ready for the, uh, the Castle Rock hike. I think you guys are going to enjoy the heck out of that. And a lot of you are really interested in that relaxation video, so I'm, I'm super stoked. That's taken three days of uploading already, and it's still not done. It's in the processing mode now. And I have a feeling it's going to take a few more days.
but it'll be worth it. And it, it's something that I'll be playing at nighttime every night so I can fall asleep. Definitely looking forward to that. And I'm going to come up with a lot more of those types of videos also. I might go to some beautiful places and just record for a while and play some really beautiful, peaceful background music to help people nod out and get the rest that you all deserve from working so hard. Oh, the ground's got, the street's got a good amount of water on it. Is that a motorcycle? It is. Supposedly I get my bike back next week, the old hog. And I am definitely looking forward to it. If there's another issue with it, then I'm gonna get corporate Harley involved. I've been making over a year worth of payments without my bike. And they keep on having issue after issue with, you know, they keep on bringing my bike back and then there's, there's something wrong with it. And it's a brand new motor. It's a brand new motor, a brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit, brand new everything. So I'm just super bummed out about it. But I just get a bad feeling that some of the things are being done intentionally. To, I don't know. If I explain to you guys the whole story, then I guarantee you, you would kind of wonder the same thing. But that's all I really am going to say because, you know, I don't want to jinx myself. But any of you who ride Harleys, if you bring your bike up here, like, I'll definitely try to make time to drive around the lake one time with you guys or something. I think that'd be fun. And maybe we can do a video with a, with a bunch of us who get together on bikes and just cruise this whole valley one time and... Um, maybe stop somewhere. I'll buy us lunch. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Alright, we're back here at Stanfield Cutoff. So no lightning yet. Just lightning coming out of my mouth like usual. Rah, 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 rah. My mouth runs off of the Energizer battery. It just keeps going and going and going. What do you think, babe? This is really good for for our lake to be constantly getting little showers here and there. I know this isn't going to have a huge impact, but it's really nice. Really nice for our lake. And then you can see the clouds over there. It looks really, really bright. I believe those are all the lights from down the mountain reflecting off those clouds. Pretty cool to see that. I know. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm excited for summer lake is way more full than it was last summer. Oh yeah, so it's, it's a whole different lake. I'm excited to see all the like really pretty flowers that are going to grow for the springtime. And it's already getting hot up here. It's been like 65 to 70, but I'm excited about this rainstorm and the summer to come. Yeah, me too. I didn't move up here for summertime, but after being here for eight eight winters, which is what I moved here for, uh, I am looking forward to our summertime. Because the living's easy. Riders on the microphone with Ross MG. All people in the dance hall agree that we're well, well qualified to represent the LBC. That's where we stayed. Sorry, I kind of passed it quickly. That was the World Mark by Wyndham. Really cool place. For those of you who didn't see it, I, I posted a video of that place. Really great for families. Great for your, your, your toddlers, great for your teens, and great for adults. They have a little bit of everything for everybody. And that was really great to see that. And then in a couple weeks, we're going to be staying at 
uh, I think it's called the Blue Green Resort. That's over at the end of the village. Really nice place. In the wintertime, they were renting those rooms out for a thousand a night. And it's a bit cheaper now, so we're gonna go stay a few nights there. And just show you guys more of the Big Bear area and more lodging, so more opportunity for you guys to wanna to come up here. Anything I can do to get you guys to come up here and enjoy this place and you know, just enjoy life and create some lifelong memories, then that's, that's what we want because we need you guys to come up here and enjoy yourselves. I always tell you guys, without you guys, we don't get to live here. And I'm from Newport Beach, a really beautiful area. And uh, I mean, I, I would dread going back there. So I'm glad to be in this kind of quiet area. Obviously during tourist season, it's not quiet, but I enjoy the hustle and bustle for a few months out of the year because it reminds me of being back home. But it's nice to get all the peace and serenity back um, and just quiet time and um, from on and off for many months out of the year. And any of you who can and are willing, I would suggest trying to find a place to live up here. If you like this channel so much, I. I really think uh, you'd enjoy living here. It's not a far drive to downtown LA. It's not a far drive to the beach. It's, you know, two hours. Not a far drive to San Diego or Palm Springs. Or, yeah, just there's, I mean, just a short ride and you can pretty much be anywhere in Southern California you want. And then you get to come back up here when you're done. It's a win-win situation for y'all. Babe, you haven't seen any lightning, have you? No. No, I haven't seen any lightning either. Sorry guys, I was hoping we'd, we'd get lucky and catch the sky lighting up a little bit, but it was not meant to be. But for those of you uh, who are fairly new here, I do not miss any of these storms. Now the only time I might miss something, and it's very rare, is when it's, it's such a small storm where maybe on one side of the town it's raining a little bit, but on my side it's still sunny and I'm just not seeing it hearing about it but anytime there's something out at my house I'm always gonna be out here for you guys so anyway thank you guys for everything appreciate it I am a little bit tired and uh, yeah we we will talk to you guys later don't forget if you guys enjoy what we do please like and subscribe and share the videos I know some of them are a little bit boring but you know this is what built this channel is exactly what I'm doing right now and you guys have been faithful and just really really cool with me can't thank you enough thank you guys for all the well wishes all the support constantly we really do appreciate you a lot we love you very much and uh, I just hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night and uh, get ready for those two videos I was telling you about the Castle Rock hike we do the whole hike up and down and then the relaxation videos talk to you guys later love you very much may 20th oh no it's may 21st now 2023 12 13 a.m bye guys